Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ultra Squad video. Today we're going to be talking about the introduction of the Rex Matriarchs to RuneScape. Before we get started, I just want to make it clear that this video does contain theories, so all sources of information will be linked in the description below. I'm not claiming any of this is solid fact, however I'm just using the best information we have available so far. When the Rex Matriarchs were announced, most of us were really excited about it and couldn't wait to try out the new boss. When they were finally released, the entire boss hub was swarmed with people going through the new portal. Like most people, I tried them out right away. Uh, the first issue I encountered, however, was that my melee was not hitting or Kalkar or Shukrai. However, this wasn't very surprising. I kind of figured this would happen, so I went and grabbed a good mage setup and started shredding Orakalka, and pretty soon I got my first kill. With time and experience, a lot of the more advanced players started using a hybrid setup in order to get rapid kills on all three of the Rex Matriarchs, and the race was on to see who could get the ferocious title, all the rare drops, and the little baby bosses. Even though noobs were able to handle this new boss, the enthusiasm died out super quick, and pretty soon the PVM hub was back to normal again. I did a little bit of research on Google and the RuneScape wiki a few days after the bosses were released, and the polls suggest that over 33% of participants actually voted negatively for the Rex Matriarchs. To kind of figure out why this was the case, I started scrolling forums and I came across this comment that said, you don't have to use hybrid? I actually disagree, uh, because killing one boss at a time and rebanking is a lot of time loss. Uh, but the big issue here is that a lot of low tier and mid tier players can't really afford hybrid setups. So moving on to figuring out why Jagex actually created the Rex Matriarchs, I think that we may have come across a more subtle reason why they did. But first, we're going to have to return to late 2020, when Raksha was released. The first week, it was extremely punishing boss and very difficult to deal with. And a lot of players actually waited for an update to come out, and eventually they did, which allowed a lot more players to actually compete with Raksha. Of course, when Raksha was released, a lot of people were highly incentivized to fight it because there was the potential for a greater Ricochet Ability Codex drop. And of course, this was a really good drop, but the issue was that it caused the other combat abilities to become less good relative to range. This was the beginning of what we call the Dark Ages for Mage Combat. Rich players just completely chose not to use it, and less rich people that were kind of starting out with PVM just chose to go with other styles instead. And it was rational. There was just far better advantages to using specifically range now that there was this greater Ricochet ability. For these reasons, I think that the introduction of the Rex Matriarchs was part of the reintroduction of the mage combat style to RuneScape. And this is because Orakalka can only be fought with mage. So if you want her specific drops or the pet, you have to use mage. My hope is that this is the beginning of a larger effort to reintroduce mage and make it more relevant to the game again. Hopefully with some greater abilities eventually, but in the meantime, just having a boss that has to be fought with mage is a good start. Thanks for checking out our Ultra Squad video. If you liked it, drop us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.